Well, good afternoon. We're here with Dr. Klein again of St. Petersburg, Florida. And Dr. Klein is a uh, top dentist here. And Dr. Klein, thank you very much for being thank with you. us today. Um, I'd like to share with our viewing audience um, some of the things that you would talk about with your patients. How often should they come to see you? What should they have done when they come to see you? And what are the kinds of things at home care, the things that they can do to kind of keep the preventive maintenance for sure. themselves? Great questions. Um, everybody di everybody's different, so it kind of we cater it to the individual. Uh, we have some people that need to come uh, see the dentist, uh, you know, routinely every six months. That like the insurance says you should. Uh, other people come more often. Some people come every three months. We got some people that only need it once a year. So it, it, we try to tailor it to the specific person. As far as doing things at home, uh, yeah, we nag you about the brushing and the flossing. I think one of the easiest things that you can do at home that kind of helps keep you away from me as far as treatment wise, keeping things uh, clean and, and spick and span in there, is an electric brush. I mean, there's some great electric brushes on the market. Uh, to me, uh, the simplest one is an uh, Oral-B Brawn, not that I endorse any particular product, but that just is one that is very simple and easy to use and not very expensive. Um, and also there's actually a new type of floss out, uh, and it's uh, more of a stretchy type of floss uh, that is excellent for sliding through, keeping the teeth clean in between the teeth, but then also being efficient in actually cleaning it off versus the, some of the glide that's on the market. Very interesting. Now you mentioned about the electronic um, toothbrush mm -hmm. that is used. Is that because it just moves in a better motion and it's more efficient, it's faster, um, our hand can't move that fast? I'm, I'm very curious to know about that. Well I'm glad you asked about that because the, the electric brush really has a smaller head and that's what I really like the most about it. It's not that you can't do a good job with the regular brush, but I always tell patients, I say, you know, they should call a regular toothbrush a teeth brush because we brush a bunch of teeth at one time. If you think about when you go and get your teeth polished at the, at, by the hygienist, she's actually doing each individual tooth at one time. So that's why I try to switch it to actually being a toothbrush versus a teeth brush. Oh, excellent. Well, thank you very much.